Journey Map is one of the best Minecraft mods in my opinion, adding in not only a mini map, but an amazing full screen map on top of waypoints, and all of this is incredibly customizable as well. So truthfully, Journey Map is a must have Minecraft mod, and luckily in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to get it. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below and that will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Journey Map. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Journey Map button to go to Journey Map's official download page on CurseForge. Once you're here, what you want to do is click on Files and then find the 1.20.6 Forge version. So right here it is, 1.20.6 version for Forge. Click the three dots on the right hand side and click download file next to this version. After a few seconds the download will begin but while this is downloading have a message from our company Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to the server and customize the server any way that you want. Plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash sgh and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, the mod is now downloaded. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser, but for us, it's downloaded. We're good to go. We also need to download Forge. Forge is the mod loader that's going to allow Journey Map to talk to and work in Minecraft. In the description down below, we have a link to here. This is our super in-depth guide on getting Forge, but once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Forge button to go to Forge's official download page. On this page, we want to make sure that 1.20.6 is selected on the left-hand side, which as you can see, now it is, and then we want to go and download latest and click on installer here when you do it'll take us off to add focus where stop don't click anything on this page whatsoever just put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds after about 10 seconds a red skip button will appear in the top right up here this is the only thing that you want to click on this page that red skip button when you do you might be prompted to save forge as long as forge is in the title you are good to save or keep the file depending on your browser and how things are set up, you will need to keep or save it. Nevertheless, once Forge is downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And what we want to do is move these files to our desktop. So for me, I know they're in my downloads folder. We can come here and move them from here into our desktop where we can go ahead and get them installed. We're going to be starting off by getting Forge installed. So right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Or you do, you click OK, and it doesn't work. Well, that's because you need Java 21. Java 21 is now required for Minecraft 1.20.6 mods. In the description down below, we have a link to this, which is the in-depth guide on how to install Java. It covers everything you need to know. There's even a video up here as well. And this video says Java 17, but it will work for Java 21. And we have a Java 21 video coming out very, very soon. But nevertheless, get Java 21. After that, you may need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them to Java 21, at which point you will finally be able to right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK to open up the Forge installer. Once you're in the Forge installer, just click Install Client and click OK, and it will install Forge. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed. And if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.6 before, just go ahead and play it. Open it up to the main menu in vanilla Minecraft, close out of it, come back, and you will be able to install Forge. But as you can see, it has successfully installed Forge for us, so we can click OK and actually delete the Forge install from our desktop. Now let's go ahead and install Journey Map. To do that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. And then in the Minecraft Launcher, we want to go to Installations up here at the top. Now, you want to make sure Modded is checked. As you can see, if Modded is not checked, Forge isn't there. But if Modded is checked, you'll have Forge here. If you do, go ahead and click Play, click Play again. But if you don't have Forge here or it's not Forge 1.20.6, go ahead and click a New Installation. You can name the same thing you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then click the Version drop-down box here. In this, you want to select 1.20.6-Forge. For me, it's up here at the top, but you may need to scroll for uh, yours to find it. But you can also just uh, search Forge here in version, and right there it is. I'm going to change the resolution so we can see better once we get in game, and then click Create in the bottom right. Now we have this new SimpleGameHosting.com profile. The most importantly is 1.20.6-Forge. Go ahead and play Minecraft using that or your Forge installation. And then once we're in game, it's super easy to install Journey Map. From the Minecraft main menu, all we've got to do is click on Mods here, and then click Open Mod mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the main menu, click mods and then open mods folder in the bottom left. Then drag and drop journey map from your desktop into your mods folder, right like so. It's that easy to install it. Now, if we come back to Minecraft, it's not here. And in order to get it here, what we need to do is quit Minecraft actually. Then we want to reopen Minecraft 
Using our Forge installation, in order to play Minecraft with Journey Map or any other Forge mods you add, you will need to be playing Minecraft with your Forge installation. That can either be the one that you created yourself or the one that's there by default. It doesn't matter which one. Go ahead and click play. Click play again to confirm you're playing modded Minecraft. And now, once we get back in game, Journey Map will be installed and we can confirm that on the mods tab. There it is. And of course, we can also jump in game. One of the cool things about Journey Map is that it will work on vanilla servers, such as this one. This is a vanilla Minecraft server here and so if we go ahead and join it it will work we'll be able to see and use journey map in game even though journey maps not installed on the server on top of that this will work on hypixel and other vanilla based minecraft servers as well so it's kind of cool to be able to see you know hypixel from a top down level do admit check server rules though and make sure that you know you're not breaking the rules by using journey map but a lot of times you are okay on a lot of servers we're running around here for a second filling out the map as you can see in the top right and then we can go ahead and press j on our keyboard and it will open up journey map clicking close here and you can see the top down map we can set a waypoint by double clicking we'll add this is our spawn village go ahead and set our color of our waypoint there and click save and now if we come back in game we'll be able to see that right over there spawn village and that'll stay there we can fly you know thousands of blocks away and be able to still see that waypoint on top of that if we go ahead and press j again we can manage our waypoints down here at the bottom right here in this menu deleting them turning them on and off let's say you don't want to display a waypoint but you want to have it for later you can turn it off you can teleport to waypoints and on top of all of that there's this options button here and this is where you can really get into customizing everything your mini map its locations its size all of that stuff the different you know full screen map options what shows up here all of that can be changed and it's really really cool but nonetheless at this point you now know how to download and install journey map in minecraft 1.20.6 if you've got any questions let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to give you a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.